Okay, um, so what is it like for a solo cruiser? First of all, this is it's only a three day cruise, so it's not really enough time to get to know people, but they do have a solo meeting. The solo meeting is at half past nine in the morning, can you believe? It's at the crow's nest, and I'm gonna give it a go. Right, I'm off to the solo meeting. It's at half nine in the morning at the crow's nest, which is on the lighter deck, 16th floor forward. I have no idea there's gonna be anybody there. I've got no idea if it's hosted. Let's see what happens. As you can see, I'm back in my inside cabin. So, how did it go? Hmm, I did not expect this. Just to explain what happened. Now, the meeting was at half past nine. Half past nine in the morning was too early, and it's only a three day cruise, and they only had two meetings. Uh, the first meeting at half nine yesterday, I missed out because I was having breakfast. But I turned up today, and just after half past nine, um, one of the ladies from the entertainment crew of PO turned up, sat down in the seat, and suddenly, some solos appeared from nowhere. And it's wonderful because now it's my last night, yeah? And um, tonight I'm meeting some of the solo, fellow solo travelers in the atrium and we're gonna go and watch the um, tournament band play. They're meant to be fantastic. And um, tonight I'm eating in Sindhu, which is the Indian restaurant, one of the speciality restaurants on the ship. And I'm gonna be joined by Julie now, which is great. And, and then um, we're going to see, we're going to the show at half past 10 at Headliners. So uh, a few of us are gonna meet at, outside at 10 o'clock and watch the show together in Headliners. And then the rest of us, we're all gonna meet up again in the live lounge. And there's a um, 70s band, Fusion, are doing 70s disco music. Um, so I, suddenly my activities <laughs> from being by myself are just suddenly really busy. So all I would say is, first of all, well done P&O on having a solo meeting. It's really worth going to the meeting, yeah? Because you just don't know what's gonna happen. I really wish P&O would not do it at half past nine in the morning because a lot of people haven't even got out of bed sometimes, especially the party solos because they've partied the night before. And um, there were some, some of the solo, fellow solos um, hadn't cruised before and they've been by themselves and they were just really happy today happened. Um, some of the guys said that they probably might not have cruised again, but because, of the, because we suddenly met fellow solos, they thought, okay, this is great. And I'm really looking forward to having a really social um, evening with everybody tonight. But what I would say to um, P&O is um, I would suggest especially on a three-day cruise, you haven't got a lot of time to meet anybody, the first evening, maybe six o'clock, have a, just have a meeting at six o'clock, um, a tea and coffee, just meet up, because like today, we've all got on really well, we've had a really, really good morning, and we're now all socialising with each other. I wish we had done that on the first evening, rather than the last night which is what it's gonna be, yeah? So that's what I would, that's my feeling with P&O is fantastic that you're doing a meeting, fantastic member of your entertainment staff is there to host it. It was free tea and coffee as well, which is great. I needed the coffee, but I would really think, especially on the shorter cruises, that it's really worth um, doing it on the first night, if you can do, and also in the um, solos, in the actual um, state rooms, where people are staying, solos are, solos are staying, maybe you could put a little note in there because you know where they are, just to say that, please meet up for a free tea and coffee or whatever on the first evening because that way it would have made the whole cruise more enjoyable 
especially for um, our wonderful guys that we've met today who we haven't cruised before. But tonight, we're gonna make up for it. We're gonna have a great night and hopefully I'll be posting little bits of it as well. So that's my feeling. And um, right, I need a shave, don't I? <laughs> Terrible, bye, bye. I wish you a pleasant and safe onward journey. Thank you and enjoy your evening.